Hello, what's up YouTube? It's the FNW21 Gamer here, and welcome back to my newest Pokemon Let's Play video. Sorry I haven't been able to record very much in a while. My family and I just went through a big move from one state to the next. I'm not disclosing the full details for privacy's sake. And we're still selling into the new place, so I don't know how often I'm going to be able to record videos in the future. But now I made time for a remake of a video that I did a while back. I am so sorry about the last video, guys. I don't know why audio didn't end up being recorded in that video, but I think I got the problem fixed now, and we're ready to redo the first episode of Pokemon Flora Sky. Thank you all so much for watching, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's get on with the video. I've had my... <sighs> right, we're gonna have to redo this. <sighs> I've had my eye on this game for a while now. I think I played in the past, but I don't remember much of it. And now I'm gonna do a let's play of it on this channel. Hi, sorry to keep me winged. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. Aw, oh, cute little Smoochum. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Me humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's why I do. And you are? Okay, let's go. Are you a boy or a girl? Boy. Alright, what's your name? You guys know what name I always go for in these playthroughs. Ash. Farewell, Ash Ketchum. Your time in the Pokemon mem in the Pokemon anime has made memories within all of our hearts. <sighs> I miss him. But anyway, so it's Ash. Yes. <sighs> ah, okay. You're Ash. Who's moving to my hometown of Small Town? I hear now. Small Town. That's a name for a town. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you here. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. <sighs> Alright, so, here we go, start of the episode. Now, the start of this game is quite similar to Pokemon Emerald. At first, I thought we were going to go through the Horn region in this game, but then I come out of the truck and see this. Ash, we're here, honey! It must be tiring grinding all of our things. Oh, wait, uh, with all of our things in the moving truck. And I'm bad scripted things, dang it. Ugh. Well, this is small town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? Ash, you go... Oh. And you go... And you get your own room, Ash. Let's go inside. Come on, I've heard of this before. How am I missing up? See, Ash, isn't it nice in here, too? The numerous Pokemon do all of the moving and... Do all of the work moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Ash, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. I bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Alright, let's see. Vigoroth. Another Vigoroth. Hmm, nothing much in these boxes. Alright, well, here's the clock. Let's set the right time. Alright, it's currently... 19, 19, 18, 17. Okay, this should be the correct time. 12, 17 p.m. Ash, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's pulled away neatly. 
They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. There's one thing on this desk that I want to get. A potion. Huh. Always do, always check for this in ROM hacks. I don't think this is a thing that's possible in their games, though. Oh, Ash! Ash, quick, come quickly! What? What is it? Look, it's the Pokemon League! That's our champion! Our report at the Pokemon League is over. Thanks for watching. Oh, it's over. Oh, we must champion Cynthia. Too bad. That's another thing that confused me. I didn't remember that the Sinnoh Pokemon League champion was in this game. Although I didn't get very far past the start, but I don't remember this. A Horn region start, but Sinnoh region champion. I can't wait to see what else this game has in store. Oh yes, one of my friends lives in, lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over there and introduce yourself. Alright, and off we go. Now, I want to talk to everyone because I remember getting something from someone I want to pocket for later. I got this from Professor Bo- from F Professor Birch, ugh. But I don't know- but I don't know what it's good for. It's called Soothe Belt. Do you want it? Yes, that's it. Well, you can keep it. Alright, this'll be useful if I ever get a Riolu. <laughs> Alright, now, let's see. Oh, here- hello there. I'm the daycare man. I help take care of the precious Pokemon of trainers. If you'd like me to raise your Pokemon, have a word with my wife. Oop, that wasn't Professor Birch. Oh, hello, miss. Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're Ash, our next door neighbor. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. Yep, just like Emerald. Hi, Neymar! Do you already have your own Pokemon? No, not yet. Okay, let's see. Touch the item there, and here comes May. Huh? Who, who are you? Oh, you're Ash! So your move was today! Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I... I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I... I heard about you, Ash, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Ash, and that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I, I've just met you, Ash. <laughs> oh no, I forgot! I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon! Ash, I'll catch you later! Alright. Well, Professor Birch isn't in his house, so let's go check the lab down the street. Or rather in the other corner of town. If you use a PC, you can store items in Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. Small town. A, ca a town that can't be shaded any hue. Um, okay. <sighs> Man. Walking the soul without the running shoes. I'm playing this on my computer instead of my phone. So I can't speed it up. Alright, let's stick in the lab for Birch. Huh? Professor Birch? The professor is away on fieldwork. Argo, he isn't here. Oh, let me explain what fieldwork is. It is to study things in the natural environment, like fields and mountains, instead of a laboratory. The professor isn't one for doing desk work. He's the type of person who would rather go outside and experience things than read about them here. Right. Professor Birch has been studying Pokedex systems with Professor Oak. Oh, really? And what's in here? Oh, sorry, you can't go in that area yet. Oh, empty. Okay then, what's in here? Empty. <sighs> right. Well, that's about everything in here. Professor Birch's Pokemon Mob. And yet, no Professor Birch. And here's a Pokemon Mart that only sells mail. And I have no use for mail. Okay, let's see. I'm having a hard time deciding if I should make my skinny evolve or not. I only have to use this moonstone, but it's so hard to decide. If I make it evolve, it will become much stronger, but it will look so different too. My Pokemon are weak, so we often have to go to the drugstore. Oh. I'm guessing this is the first place, Kitty. Yeah? <sighs> Alright. Hmm. Professor Birch isn't anywhere here. 
Oh, here's a little detour that I can't take yet. Where are you going to go? I'm examining this road. Wait until I finish, okay? <sighs> right. Okay, let's see. Um, hi! There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? And this is where it begins to branch off from Pokemon Emerald. Instead of in a clearing on the star of the route, you find Professor Birch in a mountain and run to a Pokemon be first, before him, actually. Mount Fulmoon is a mysterious and dangerous place. People say that many legendary Pokemon lived there. Uh-huh. Lamb's house. Wait, I don't think I ever went to the daycare lady's house. Hello. Hi! If you ever get stumped and don't know what to do, talk to people. Talk to everyone you see. Come wherever you can. We'll find many places by doing just that. I do talk to everyone I can, and I do actually get... And I do actually find secret stuff by doing just that. Okay, here's the daycare place. This is where you raise Pokemon in the game. I'm the daycare lady! We can raise Pokemon for you! Oh, you need two Pokemon first. Yeah, I don't have any Pokemon, so I can't do that yet. Alright, into Mount Full Moon we go. <sighs> okay, let's see. Mount Full Moon. Yep. Okay, we find Professor Perch in that in that little cave there. There's a bunch of stuff here that we can't access yet. And there's a whole bunch of rocks that I could search for secret items in, but I can't do that right now because that would take way too long. Okay, one little thing about the... Hmm. You'd think there'd be a hand I'm up here, but... Nope. Nothing. Well, anything. One thing about the geography of this game that kind of gets to me... Oh. I think I should go with that cave first. Wait, I can't? Oh, guess not. Oh, yeah, anyways. Well, okay, this is where it's... This is where the video is gonna branch off from the original. In the original, I ran into a dark in this cave, but now I'm running into a Cresselia. And something else is gonna be different that I'm gonna get into a bit later. Huh? This is... Huh? That's Cresselia, a rare Pokemon. Mount Full Moon is her home. However, she is rarely here. The Pokemon you see is only an illusion. If you're lucky, you'll see a real Cresselia. Ah, sorry, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Flash, a brilliant witch. Ha 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 ha. I must go now. See you again. Bye, Umbala. You, you shouldn't go outside when you don't have a Pokemon. Ah, I'm Birch. Maybe you visited my house, didn't you? Hmm. You need to have a Pokemon. Luckily, I have brought three Pokemon. Now you need to choose one. Oh, here we go. Attack. Ah! Quickly! A wild Pokemon appeared! Now this is different from the Emerald opening. Now this is where it's gonna branch off from the original video I made. In the original video, I ended up getting the Kanto Stars when I did this, and I didn't understand why, since the first time I played this game way back when years ago, I got the Sinnoh, I got the Sinnoh region stars. I end up finding out why, I end up finding out why though. Apparently there are two different versions of this ROM hack, where one you get Darkrai and the Kanto stars, and another where you get Cresselia and the Sinnoh stars, and I thought that was kinda neat. It remind, it kinda reminds me of of main series Pokemon games where you get different legendary Pokemon depending on the version of the game you get. But anyways, of the three stars, Ash only had Chimchar and Turtwig, and I'm gonna pick my favorite of the two, the Fire-type Chim Pokemon, Chimchar. Alright, let's take care of this wild Pokemon. Hmm, the Zigzagoon. Alright Chimchar, let's go. Hmm. Alright, Chimchar. Hmm. Let's try... Hmm. Let's try Leer. Hmm. Oh, Gravel cancels it out. 
Hmm. Okay then. <clears throat> Chimchar, you scratch. Hmm. Uh. You scratch again. Collision. Huh. Yeah. All right. Seventeen XP. Ooh. Wow. Thanks a lot. Now we have to go back to my lab. Follow me. So, Ash, I've heard so much about you from your mother. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a palm. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Alright, Chimchar. Okay. While you're at, why not give a nickname to that Chimchar? No. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make it an extremely good trainer. My kid, May, is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Ash, don't you think it might be a good idea to see May? Oh, okay then. Great, May should be happy to. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Alright, let's check out our new Chimchar. Hmm, a level 5 and it's holding an Orenberry, okay. A lonely nature, it's a bully display, so it's fire moves in a pinch. <sighs> Man, if only I could use it like... Ash is in the anime alone. But okay, it has 13 attack, 8 defense, 11 special attack, 10 special defense, and 11 speed. And of course, 20 HP. 152 XP and 27 until the next level. And it's only two moves right now are Scratch and Leer. Okay, I like this little guy. Well, anyway, let's save. Yeah. Alright, yes. I wanna save... Yes. <sighs> Alright. Don't know why you can't have multiple different save files, like in other games though. But anyways... Oh, guess I still can't go there yet. But anyway, let's go find Mei. But first, let's seal up our Chimchar. I'm gonna be completely ready for the battle that we're about to attend. For those of you who watched the original video, in it, I ended up losing the first fight with Mei due to her star Pokemon getting a lucky critical hit. Hmm. <sighs> and I wanna be fully rested up and prepared and hope that that doesn't happen again. <sighs> Man, he just got lucky last time. Hmm. But I won't lose the first fight this time. Alright, let's go. Slowly, because we have no running shoes yet. Alright, something I want to touch upon about the geography of this place. If I go to the through the central tunnel here, I'll end up out here. Here, where I appear to be at the absolute end of the mountain tunnel. And I'll turn into this guy. That's not what I want to touch on. Uh, hi. Hi, I'm Sky, an assistant of Professor Birch. You've just come here, right? May is waiting for you. Um, you should go meet her. But when I go back in here, there's a lot more room in the tunnel. And it looks like that this should have been the one that led me to outside and not the central one. Don't you guys think so? Especially when the central one leads me in here. <sighs> but anyway, let's talk to me. Um... Huh. Oh, hi Ash! My dad gave you a Pokemon! Great! Now, try to be a trainer! Alright, May, let's do this. And I won't... Ooh. Blue clothing instead of red or green. That's cool and distinct. Oh, and I guess it matches. Her, oh, and I guess it matches her star, a water type Pokemon, Pebwop. All right, Chimchar, use Leer. Let's take it out as quickly as possible. Ah. Uh. Whoa. Uh, I'll be out in four hits. Four more hits anyway. Oh, three more hits. Oh man, I got. Ugh, attack now! Ugh. 
Shoot, I forgot about the Orenberry. Uh, sorry. Maybe I should have taken that off. Uh. No. Or not. Ugh. I can't believe you. I can't believe I'm winning this fight because of an item. Ugh. I should have just won the attack. I don't feel... Wait. Wow! Excellent! Wait, hold up. Okay. I restart... I restart the game. And then I saved. And this time... Oh man, I didn't heal up! Ugh. I thought I saved after I healed up. I didn't feel great about me winning because of an item, so I restarted. Now I'm gonna try and win without items. Let's go. Alright, let's go pure offensive this time. You scratch. Um, great. Scratch again. Ugh. Scratch. Ugh. What the? Did I just do sex damage? Oh no, 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 no! Come on, Chimchar! No! Ugh. <sighs> Alright. Take number three. And I made sure that I've healed up Chimchar first this time. Wait, did I take off the- oh no, the Orenberry. Ah. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Ah. Scratch. Ah. If I take 10 more damage, I'm restarting again. Come on, Shemshar, finish Pebble up off, please. Yes! <sighs> Alright, level 6. <sighs> wow! Excellent! I can't believe I lost the first fun the second time. <sighs> now, let's go back to my dad's lab! Oh wait, so I'm not just going to be warped there like I was for with Professor Birch? <sighs> Alright then. Huh? Me? Ash, quick! Okay, I'm hurrying. I just can't go very fast because I don't have the running shoes. <sighs> Man, walking takes so damn long. Wait, the lab is over here. <sighs> okay, here we are. Oh, hi, Ash. I already beat May on your first try. Not really, but... That's excellent! May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Ash, I wrote this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Nice. The Pokédex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokémon you meet or catch. My kid, May, goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokémon and records it down the Pokédex, why, May looks for me while I'm out doing fieldwork and shows me. Oh wow, Ash! You got Pokédex too! That's great! Just like me! I've got something for you too! Alright, some Pokéballs. Now we can catch Pokémon. It's fun if you've got a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any Pokemon, I'll catch them with Pokeballs. Alright. Can I go into this area now? <sighs> nope, guess not. Well, guess the only thing left to do is to head on to the field. I wonder if I can take that central route now. Back in Mount Full Moon. Well, there's nowhere else to go. 
Okay, only one way to find out. Let's do it. Up, up, wow. Hmm. Ah, uh, sky again. Oh man, am I gonna ball again? Hi, I'm Sky. I'm an assistant of Professor Birch. You've just come here, right? Oh, you bugged with me? I think it's great, right? So, you got Pokedex, huh? And may I also give you some Pokeballs? Great, now Wally will teach you how to catch Pokemon. Who? I should have saved this for the next episode. Uh, if only I knew that this was coming. Ah, hi Sky. Nice to see you again. Huh? This is... Ah, this is Ash, a new civilian of Small Town. Still running. Can you show Ash how to catch a Pokemon? Sure, with great pleasure. I'll borrow your Pokemon for a moment. Follow me. Goodbye. Wait, so Wally still doesn't have his own Pokemon in this game, despite being experienced this time? Whoa. And of course, it's a route. Let's go. Wait, he's borrowing my Pokemon? Well, I thought I was borrowing one of... Skies. Um. Alright, you scratch a gun. Hmm. Man, Chimchus attack is so low now. Alright, now... It's time when it catches it. Okay, it's HP is down. It's ready for a Pokeball. Let's go. That's my potion. Hey. Wait, you're not using... Wait, why is there only one? I thought... May gave me only one Pokeball? Wait. Is that gonna... Enter my Pokeball count? That better not be my bones using... Oh, he caught it. Alright. And done! Here's your Pokemon! Thanks! You should make the wild Pokemon's HP as small as possible. They also get easier to catch if you put them to sleep, paralyze, and such. You should also try using different kinds of Pokeballs. If you have lots of Pokemon, you'll be able to travel farther. I also have a gift for you. Alright, running shoes. Now I can finally run around. You can run faster with them. See you around! Okay, bye Wally. Alright, I think I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to start training in the tall grass and maybe see if there's some Pokemon that we can catch. Hmm. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see all of you guys in the next time. Peace out. Man, that's so much harder to do on a computer. Hmm.